Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Super D Service. We got Reno's truck. I think it's 05, maybe 06. Let's go ahead and get the Diag started. I guess we got under boost code and we're going to do a cold start. 86,000 miles on it. So let me get some screens set up and we'll get going. Okay, here you go. It is 05, 86,000 miles. Okay, so I think Julie already came out and cleared the codes. So, uh, bummer. Hang on. Okay, it's got under boost, but at 80,000 miles, it probably needs turbo clean. I would imagine it's been sitting for a while. EBP volts seem to be okay. EBP 0.88, that's good. We want to watch this pick real quick. Let's kick the key off, kick it back on. Watch this ICP. It's late month, 46 and a half. That's questionable let's let the chatter stop it is 37 degrees so let's do a cold start here here we go watch the pick em as it fires and then i'm gonna go straight to power balance appears to be all right it starts pretty good i don't think i don't know shut off the compensation right here I don't know. I mean, number six, yeah. But I don't know that I'd spend money on it. I mean, depending on how bad it gets when it's warm. Compensation back on and it probably smooths out. Really doesn't look too bad. Might just need turbo clean. I mean, we can do the number six injector, but I think maybe we ought to get more life out of it. With the compensation on, this button not checked, kind of levels out, doesn't it? So, I mean, actually started pretty good for being 37 degrees out. I don't know why this thing's focusing so much. Probably screen's dirty. It's charging pretty good. Let's, uh, granted it's not warm, but let's go ahead and see what the manifold gauge pressure is right here. Let's kick the RPMs up. Oh yeah, we got nothing. That turbo is locked. Turbo seized. See me commanding the VGT on the bottom, and it's not doing anything to the manifold gauge pressure. Yeah, we're pretty much. Oh, I just saw a little bit, a little tick. Well, we're getting a little bit. The point one, that's the number we're looking at. Now it should be like two point one. Let's see if I can, maybe I can pop it loose. I doubt it. might be moving a little bit but not enough to do anything now we need to yank it off before we uh, actually hurt the uh, we could mess up the actuator arm or the unison ring by trying to make it boost so pretty simple yank the turbo and clean it I mean as far as cold start I think it's probably fine uh, with the miles that we've got maybe we ought to get the coolant change too with time I'll get underneath the hood and look here hang on Damn, the damn D-Gat didn't even tighten up. Boat wasn't even in it. That's what I could have put it in. You do got, you got some pressure. I don't really see how much coolant's in there. You can't see any. <laughs> Gotta check these cack boots really good. That was really good. Make sure the boots are all good. We got clean on the car. Horrible having it this nasty. We'll go ahead and uh, pull it in and clean off the boot, get it cleaned off, and get the turbo off, get it clean. Got a little leak on that. 
little bit. Yeah. We'll go ahead and yeah, we'll go ahead and yank turbo. Alright guys, I'm gonna call that good. Cut and dry, turbo clean. I don't know about injectors. I mean it's running fairly decent right now. I mean number six would be the one. Let's go back and look again. now six looks good I don't know man I, don't, I think I'd save I think I'd save the money on injectors let it get worse you know and then number two showing it's showing a little bit now and number six was a cold start so maybe just let it get worse and then uh then we'll go in and we'll do the whole even side bank you know but for right now i don't think i'd mess with it yank the freaking turbo let's get it clean let's get it boosting up and man let her go uh, but we do we are going to need to address the coolant probably ought to do a coolant flush get the flushes done get the right coolant in it oh look two dropping i don't think i'd spend money on it now though but we it, at 80,000 miles with the time, if this is the same coolant that's been in it since it was new, we need to get the coolant done. So, you know, at least get the right coolant in it. But, all right guys, have a good day.